Action with Eric Gardner. And today is National Strawberry Cream Pie Day. Hip, hip, hooray. I'm Eric Gardner, of course, live today at Kitchen Tune-Up. Strawberry cream pie, so many variations of it. This one's going to be cream cheese base, kind of sort of like a cheesecake. Some are jello based, some have a glaze. You can make it as easy or as complicated as you want. I'm going to make this so ridiculously, stupidly easy for you, you're going to want to make this tonight. Now, the recipe that I'm going to put on the website later is going to be the original easy recipe to whip up some heavy cream and put a little vanilla in, and it will work just fine. But you know what? We're just going to use the stuff that's already made for us, this prepared whipped topping. So let's get right to this very easy recipe. First of all, I had a block of cream cheese in here, and I also put in a quarter cup of sugar, and I blended that with this hand mixer. Then we have strawberries, of course, it is a strawberry cream pie. Now, the original recipe calls for mashed strawberries, and you can do that even with a potato masher. I just diced them really finely, and we're going to put that mixture in. Or if you really want it to be fine, more like a liquid, with some texture in it, you can go ahead and put this in a blender or a food processor, the strawberries. And I want about three-fourths of a cup of uh, strawberries that are finely diced or mashed. Later on, I'm going to add a few more strawberries as we decorate. Now again, you can put more strawberries in if you'd like, but this is going to be fine for me. And when I show you the finished product at the very end of the show, I have one already made. Uh, you're going to see what I mean. So the recipe also calls for what will be equivalent to one regular size container of prepared whipped topping. I already used half of this for the one I already made, so we're just going to put the rest of it in here. And you make sure, of course, it is thawed it is in the form of cream. Obviously, when it's frozen, like you just need to keep it frozen, of course, but that's not going to combine very well. So we're just going to put the rest of this in there, except for maybe a dollop's worth. I might keep that to top the finished product. And then all I need to do is simply mix that in again. It's going to have a nice pink color to it. I'm going to pour it in a prepared graham cracker crust. I'm telling you folks, this is extremely easy and it needs to be chilled at least three hours. Now, I got myself in a little bit of trouble because I was too late in starting it. So, if you need to hurry up and get it chilled, you might want to put it in the freezer. So, we're just going to go ahead and mix this thoroughly. Sorry about the noise. Beaters on a, in a glass bowl. I know, when am I going to stop? Everybody's asking. There we go. And since I just diced the strawberries, there's just a little bit of texture in there, which I think adds to it. So all you do is you take a prepared crust you can find in any store, or make your own, make your own, whatever you want to do. Simply spoon all of that right in there. Make sure it's evenly spread out, and then cover it, and it needs to, again, we chill in the refrigerator for at least three hours, or longer, it doesn't make any difference, but it needs to have at least three hours of chill time. Or, if you need to hurry up, you can put it in the freezer and see what happens there. Probably take about an hour or two in the freezer, but it does need, of course, quite a bit of chill time. Spread it all around. I'm going to add some more, make sure I top it off. And then later on, you can decorate it if you want with additional sliced strawberries or whole strawberries, whatever you feel like, even some mint would look nice on that as well. This easy recipe will be on the website a bit later on this afternoon. Like I said, the recipe I'll put on the website is the original one with the actual heavy cream that you whip up with a little vanilla and confectioner sugar. Forecast into the weekend coming up after the break.